morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to the HHE podcast. Uh, if you're listening, watching, do whatever you want. Like all the stuff down below. Yeah. Uh, in this episode, I sound really, really crap with this start, but anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about the seventh house announcement for Halloween Horror Nights, a new premium event. And any more news we can find? Spec maps. Yeah, spec maps, which I'll have to find them while we're talking. Speckers. Uh, so, guys. And yeah. I've got a lot of comments as well. Yeah. So, yeah, and we'll go into comments from any questions we asked on social media. So, like I said, social media at HHE Pod uh, on all socials except for TikTok, which is at HHE Pod 1. What is so with all that out of well the way, now. Yeah, with all that out of the way. I can do this on my own. I know I say this every week, but I can do it on my own, but I don't want to because I'm a lazy bastard. So I've got my good friend and uh, producer. That's what he's going to be. He's going. He's a producer of the show now, Mister Phil G. Travel. See, I'll get it in for you early. It's not Mister Phil G. People. It's just Phil G. Travel on YouTube. That's how you do it, Simon. It's Phil G. G. Travel on YouTube, where you get to see Tenerife and Orlando a hell of a lot. So if you like them places, and I'm guessing you like Orlando, if you're listening to this, to so get on YouTube and subscribe. It's free. And if you yes. don't, Simon's going to lick your bum. That's not. Very nice. <laughs> uh, I won't be doing that. But anyway. Um... Yeah, guys. So let's just go straight into it. Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. Uh, we got the seventh announcement. So without me saying actually what it is, what we'll do right now is I will try and play the trailer for you. Where's the thing? Warning. Unusual audio visual activity in your subtitles for people what are you doing no stop yeah. stay no it's fine stay <laughs> stay now growling noises <laughs> creature steps oh on your description by phil <laughs> creature clicking snarl If you're not watching, the girl's now hiding, like Jurassic Park, <laughs> under a table. <laughs> the boy is stupid. Uh, He's been like that. dinner. If they hear you, they hunt you. A quiet place. Only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. Officially, we have our seventh announcement, uh, the first IP for the event, A Quiet Place. And I can officially say I watched A Quiet Place this afternoon, the first one. And um, to be honest, I can't see how they're going to do how they're going to do this house unless, like, I think we spoke off her a little bit. Um, potentially do their own little take on it, maybe. Original, yeah, concept story yes. sort of thing. I know there is there is some scenes that you could technically do the house, the house scenes. Um, you could do the outdoor scenes, but like you said, the massive amount of cornfields. So whatever you do, don't bring corn to the event. You know what happens when you bring corn? Uh, 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 hurricanes are coming. <laughs> but they can also do number two. They do have a lot of um boats and that in that, so they can do their water effect stuff if they need to in the second. Yeah, one. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the second one uh, probably tomorrow. In all fairness, uh, they're easy watches. I. Yeah, uh, I, there wasn't many jump scares in it, to be fair. I that, didn't uh, I? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good film. I just don't know how technically most of the or most of it is sign language and not really much visual. Well, there is visual, but there's not much audio. So it'll be interesting to see how they pull it off. Um, Universal do have their own take. If you 
did go through Poltergeist. Um, that actually did. They did the whole take on it as if you went into the the other side. Yeah, but the Exorcist so, movie as well. Sorry, is it Exorcist? A couple of years ago. Yeah, well, they, they, yeah, yeah, same room over and over and over again. But it was yeah. So they they, they could do it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, um, that was the event. Before we go past that, do you want me yeah. to do all the um, what people think of it instead of going to a different story? Uh, if you've got them all separate, yeah. That, that, of course that, I have, mate. I have a safe place on my Telegram well, forum. So we are going to go. So as per normal, I asked a question. We're recording Saturday. So the question time, are you hyped for a quiet place house at HHN 33? And basically, I said we're reading them out. So we got the first one is Dina Dust, Dena Dust. Cool name, whatever. Right? Yes, I like the quiet place movies. I think they will do a phenomenal job with the house. The next one was from the Doctor Whovian, Craig Willix. Yeah. Craig, you always message us, so thank you very much, by the way. Um, got to keep it real. A Quiet Place is a good movie, but it would be some way down the list of IPs that I would like made into a house. I still expect it to be a good house, perhaps even great, but at this stage, not overly hyped about it. Um, next one was James Redmond. Never been a fan of the movie franchise, but I do think the house could re could be really cool if done well. Excited to see how they design the monsters. Yeah, that's always been my biggest question about these monsters. We have someone I'm still going, see. We this is not normal for us, one or two. Um or Aurea Bailey Jenkins. If I'm butchering your names, blame Simon. At okay. Simon and Julie on Twitter, if you want to mail about me butchering the names. If you want. <laughs> right. Yeah. So from Mrs. Jenkins or Mr. Jenkins or Mrs. Uh, whatever you want to be these days. Um, I don't scare easily. It's rare that I've ever actually been scared in a house. I know that feeling. I want to be scared. I also know that feeling. But I'm not that easy scared. I don't think they get scared. I could count on, on one hand the number of times of being scared in all my years in going to HHN. I think the story we're getting here, they don't get scared. Mm. I love seeing other people getting scared. I love how beautiful the houses are. The artistically, oh, I can't read that word, uh, of them all, and I love the atmosphere. But with that being said, the haunting of Hill House gave me a good scare in one part. We'll get to it eventually, I think. It was <laughs> a dark hallway where you couldn't see things because it was pitch black, but you could feel the walls around you moving. And it was deadly sight. I grabbed onto the guy's backpack in front of me, and I didn't know him at all. To make sure I didn't a, run into him, but you don't get scared, <laughs> B, fall behind. Mm -hmm. I get that one. The pitch black silence scared me more than I have been in other houses. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's this with the quiet place? Mm -hmm. I pumped. Mm -hmm. I'm pumped for quiet place house because if they do it right, it feels like a part of H-O-F-H-H -H -H did when did then it's going to be amazing. Okay. Next two people. Very short and sweet now. <laughs> Jason Go Jags. I'm super hyped. Can't wait. So this is, right now I'm seeing more people positive. Then we got yeah. William James. I'm kind of more skeptical on how it could work despite not being a run of the mill IP, but we'll give it a shot. If they use the right um, part of, uh, particular gimmicks without making it too gimmicky for a good execution, then I may like it. And since you have your own podcast, I do write HHM best um based on concepts. Um, you should have told us what your web page and that is. I would have read it out. <laughs> I, would have, I would have no problems with that if we had a Twitter handle. Yeah. Um, next person is um Megs is ready for HHM. Um, that's Megatron G13 on X. Um, here we go. I'm hoping there are plenty of great puppet moments. I'm a little nervous about it, but hoping for some great sets. Then Odd Fellow Son, that's that spooky MF. So I believe it's meant to be hyped, but they put hooped. Oh, H U P E T. So so hyped, it's going to be terrifying. And that's it. So it looks like people are excited for it, but I think a lot of people, mm. it sounds like a lot of people got fingers crossed that they get it right. It is one of them. If you don't get it right, it's going to be a bad house. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we're not the experts, we're not the creative team. Uh, but we we do have faith in the creative team. Um, they should be able to 
pull it off, whatever it is. Uh, if I had a choice between this and potentially something that was going to be here, not this, because uh, I obviously I, I I was hoping it was Silent Hill. Um, Silent but, Hill next year. Mm, I was hoping it would be, but obviously it's not. It's this, so uh, we'll see. Like I say, I I is currently. Um, you can hate me if you like. It is currently at the bottom of my list. Um, just because I just don't see how it's going to work. Yet. But I have been pleasantly surprised before. That's a good thing about it because not many people are putting it super high. That means it can only probably be better than we're imagining. Yeah. And thank you everyone for their messages. Um, we love it when we get people getting back to us and yeah. love reading them out and getting the community involved in our podcast. Yes, we do. So uh, we'll stick with Universal for now. Uh, we got this tweet uh, earlier on. Uh, yes. Just, was it just before or just after? It was, it was before. before it was, yeah. I think it was about four or five days before, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's uh, Get Ready Premium Scream Night, uh, August the 29th. Everything you love about Halloween Horror Nights, but with the limited capacity, shorter wait times, haunted house house entries staggered by group, select all you care to enjoy food and more. Details and tickets are on sale on June the 7th, which tickets are on sale. They are currently $350 plus tax. So they're still out there. I'll have a quick look in a minute. Um, yeah. But as of right now, um, it's three hundred and fifty dollars plus tax, uh, and you do get a twenty five dollar discount. I think. Why he's looking? I'm just going to clarify. This is Saturday the eighth of June. We're recording. So if you listen to this on Monday or Tuesday afterwards, and they sold out, well, then they sold out, and we were we were right on the day we looked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Simon's having, as I say, Simon's yeah. having a quick look. Um, it's took me to mix... the UK site, so I can't ah, get it. It's stupid. I hate this. Do you want me to have a look on the app? Uh, yeah, I can have it on my phone. Okay, uh, I'll, but, I'll go. Like, as of yesterday, they were still available. Um, so uh, my first thoughts: yes, this is a good idea. It does work out cheaper than an RIP tour. Uh, because you don't have to buy a daytime ticket because this is your ticket for the event. Only drawback to that is it's the very beginning of the event. I think Phil elaborated on this when we were speaking about it when it first happened, is potentially the scores won't be as good as it would be when the event's in its full flow. Because it would still be getting used to all the triggers and the timers for the actors. Still on sale. Uh, yeah, so it is it is still on sale as we speak. Uh, so it is, like I said, it is limited. We don't know what the limit is. It could be 5,000, 10,000. Who knows? Uh, but, like I said, you don't get the one-on-one -on -one or one-on-10 -on information about the RIP when you do an RIP tour. But everything's included. So your food, your non-alcoholic beverages, and the houses. I'll give you pros and cons on this. Yeah, so like the staggered path the stagger bit it says is there is plus points to that and there's also some negative points to that because we've done it in other events and if you don't have the right timing you still won't get all the scores and what you'll find is you'll probably if you've got if you're a nice slow group of you and maybe four friends you may have a fast group behind you who catch you up or you might have a group who's really slow in front of you and you catch them up so you still don't end up being fully staggered so it, it'd be interesting to see how it goes because, like, I think, did you say um, this may, well, we do think this may be a thing to test in the water on to see well, if it'll be I, but my, my opinion is this is going to definitely be here at the, well, the 29th. I think there's going to be a sneaky date at the end of the um thing as well. I think there's going to, this, this is going to happen more than once this year. Maybe mm. may the maximum of three, no more. But I do think next year we're either going to lose a day ourselves to normal people. Or, well, fear passes, or they may even think of adding an extra day once every two weeks, and they bring this in. Um, there's going to be a lot of people that, but the way I see, it, if it doesn't get that many people this year, um, you people may think this is brilliant. Let me tell you what happens at Hello Screen when there's hardly anyone there. If it's too quiet, it's rubbish. 
because you're not watching people getting scared in the streets as well and then the actors are getting bored as well and they do get bored they need the interaction i don't want super busy i don't want this to be full time no i don't think it'll ever will be um like i said i think there's testing the waters to see obviously also like i think um they're still going to be doing the media event unless they choose this as the media event and I invite all the vloggers and bloggers and uh, media to this uh, this night. Yeah, that that's interesting. Up. Because they, have you they, seen they... on Hallow Scream? You can what? go through any night of the event and Hallow Scream, as long as you don't turn flash photography on or any lights, extra lighting, you can record in the houses in Hallow Scream. Right, I didn't know I, that. Yeah, I never knew that, so I might give a little bash at that this year. Yeah, so, well, if that is, you may see some of the houses on here. So, uh We'll kind of stick with Universal again because we have had something drop today, of all things. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at the the art concepts as well because that is Aventura. Yeah, so we have officially announced by Universal uh, ho Halloween themed lobbies. So, no matter which hotel you choose to stay at during Halloween Horror Nights, staying at the heart of the horror as its perks from themed lobby experiences at select Universal Orlando Resorts hotels to themed photo opportunities waiting for you in a different Halloween hot Universal Orlando hotels. So they're gonna do the pictures again. I think what was it the was it the uh Frankie Stack at the Monsters last year in different Yeah it was Universal hotels. Monsters. Uh, and that was rubbish mate it was cardboard pieces yeah. and you just stood in front of them and they were like silhouettes of the monsters as well weren't they? Yeah. Very cheap. Uh so we're going to get some themed lobbies. Uh, from what we're hearing and what we're seeing, uh, it leads into the next bit. It says, Drink in the spirit of Halloween. Get a taste of Halloween in festive themed lounges at Universal Cabana Bay Beach Resort, Universal Aventura, and Universal Endless Summer Dockside Inn and Suites. Uh, featuring themed Halloween themed specialty drinks, 21 plus for Valid ID. Uh, so. It looks like instead of having one themed bar, bar we're going to get three. Well, Dockside's always been themed, and my worry is Dockside would just do what they always do and do the what are meant to be pumpkin. Um, what's that fruit they use? It's a fruit, isn't it? What? Um, what's that fruit people put upside down when they're swingers? I have no idea. Oh God, Simon's useless. Sometimes he is. I know what it is. I'm just telling them yeah. I have no idea because I, I, I know where you're going with you, it. No, pineapple. no, you no, you haven't. I need to know its name. That's the whole point. Pineapple. Pineapple. Isn't that what um, Dockside do? They you, they just put that absolute rubbish print up of the um pineapple Halloween thing I'm behind the bar. Sure. Um, it's it, it. I hope that if they do that for a third year in a row, it's just laziness. Um, I don't want to be negative, but that is lazy. Um, we get a bit more theme in now, guys. Come on. Yeah. So. It is nice that they're actually expanding it from just Cabana Bay because not everyone is at Cabana Bay. So you've got going to have a themed potentially uh, Aventura. Whether it's going to be the small one downstairs or the one on the roof. Nah, it's got to be downstairs. 17. It's got to be downstairs, mate. The weather. Well, yeah, but look, it's it, you, the one you get your hurricane. Yeah, you get your hurricane, though, mate. That cover ain't going to do much. That stuff's going to rip off somewhere. He's just have it downstairs. There's loads of space in Aventura anyway. Yeah, but it's it's actually is if you look there's a that is a glass thing round the bar, so it is quite small. So we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. It it's gonna be interesting. Um yeah. you will see if these pictures look like it's meant to or if it's just really bad again. Because Cabana Bay is the first year they did it. Yeah, again, I was obsessed by it, it was amazing. Yeah. Then they were basically using the same thing over and over again. Don't get me wrong, it's not cheap stuff mm. to make, but if it's three or four years on a trot, to me it's just like why are you making a fuss about this anymore? Just we know you're going to do it, and it's not going to be any different from any other year. Well, I sound like Joe yeah. today. <laughs> well, it's well, I forgot to mention that Joe's not here again. Well, uh, no one had noticed anyway, anyone would they, Joe? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's really it for Universal. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, hello, uh, Hollywood, your tickets are available. Your express passes, your single night tickets. Uh, your RIP tour tickets, your express passes, everything's available for Hollywood. So obviously we don't really talk about the Hollywood event that much because obviously we don't go, but we will give you the information when it comes. Uh, if you want to go over to the website, you can buy your tickets for it now. Yeah. 
Um, we, do you want to do a spec map, or do you want me to quickly say about um, how that scream's got four new houses this year? Apparently, I see what. Yeah, keep with how old scream. We'll go back to spec map in a bit. Yeah, yeah, we end it with the specs. Yeah, because there's not much really to talk on them anymore. Because one, we missed a week of doing it when they came out. We were too busy, yeah. and um, second, there's only three gaps left open now on the Orlando one, and what I think I think everyone knows what they are now. Yep. So but yeah, uh, Hell's Scream was cool. I thought. Yeah, uh, I haven't got much information on Hell's Scream. I didn't think I forgot about it. Uh, That's all right. So but, they said there's, oh, I think there's two new scare zones. Yeah, I'll try. Or three uh, new you, scare you, zones. You, you keep talking. I'll try and find. I think it. there's three scare zones, new ones, two new bars, four new houses. Now, is that redesigned just the same as last year's houses again with a little twist change to them? Or are these actually going to be brand new houses? So I've bought a one night ticket. So when I saw this, I was pretty happy, everyone, um, because I wasn't looking forward to it. Me and my brother's plan this year is we're going to smash all the houses out in a row because he's got disabilities. So I know it's unfair, but we do skip the lines and then we're going to do some rides and then. We're going to try and go in when it first opens. And if we get out early enough, we're going to get an Uber straight over to HHM. <laughs> so that is the plan for us. So houses, rides, HHN, um, we'll walk through the scare zones. But generally, I've never been a fan of the scare zones, uh, um, SeaWorld's one. First year, they were too foggy and too dark. Second year, they didn't have scare actors. They just had mannequins. So that wasn't scary one little bit to me. And I know I will not be wanting Monster Stomp. Because the same show, three years on a trot, yet again, is lazy for me. So uh, hopefully Monster Stomp may be gone and there may be something else. Now, um, the only problem is I'm not really into that music stuff, people. I'm still waffling because he's still looking. <laughs> uh, no, I have found Howl or Scream's Twitter handle, but there's nothing on it. Nothing How since 2023. Me? You sure you got the right one? Yes, Howl or Scream Orlando. Let me have a looksy, looksy, looksies. So, My server. Know. Hello, hello screen they are yeah you actually you're right they don't put anything up no they don't use it it's very strange um i don't know if they've got it on facebook but i don't care but well, if hello screens if you can't be bothered to do it we're not going to share it yeah because we we're going to uh, give you all the information it was just a quick tweet wasn't it yeah um, but it was your video yeah, you sent it to it. us you got it you got it on facebook so they're clearly doing it on facebook because you sent it to us on facebook yeah i remember that um yeah I'm just going to turn the volume off of my phone. Six September the 6th to November the 2nd. Four new haunted houses. I'm letting the video go yeah. as we speak. I've turned the volume off, so. Three new scare zones. I was correct. Come on. Yeah. Take forever. Sorry, people. It's a bit silence. Just take forever. Two new themed bars. Uh, I wonder if they had the red light district thing there again. <laughs> and one killer event it's going to be. So, yeah. yeah, so that's that's really what's changed. So September the 6th to November the 2nd, SeaWorld, Hello Screams, Orlando, Florida. So that yeah. was it. So Howl Scream, and uh, I won't even mention it now because actually I think that sales ended uh, that they had for tickets. So if you want to go to Howl Scream, get yourself over to the website, uh, buy yourself a ticket, and go and see these four potentially new haunted houses. I'm still sceptical whether they're going to be new. Uh, moving a house from one location to another, then calling it new is not new. Yeah, my changing answer. the <laughs> entrance, yeah, changing the entrance around to one site from the entrance to the exit is also mm. not really a change, is it? <laughs> no. So we'll we'll see we'll see we'll give it we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I think they took on board the feedback they got from last year. Um, what, so we'll see what they do. Apart from the first weekend when everyone said it was busy, I went two or three mm. times last year and it was dead. And that's yeah. not good. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. It's, it's the, 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 they're actually going up against Halloween Horror Nights on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I uh, think it's only two nights in November as well. So, uh, if I know they well, can't really... September, people, not November. Yeah, I know, I know they can't actually go for um, during the week, really. But going up against the big boys, uh, literally not, not even five miles down the road. It's a bit difficult to go for. So hopefully it works for them. Um, and we'll get a full report from when Phil comes back from there. So uh, we'll quickly just talk about this spec map that came and got dropped on us out the blue. 
in the middle of the night again. At 3 a.m., I believe it was. Yeah. So, oh, I love you at Hallowed Out um, Horror Night Nightmares, I should say. But as yeah. I have a go at Universal, I'm going to have to have a, a little go at you. Don't forget, you have your worldwide base fans you're forgetting about mm. here. And a lot of the money, yet again, is people waiting for stuff like this. And if it doesn't come out early enough, um, well, early enough, no, if it comes yeah. out at a weird time, a lot of your fan base are going to miss it. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking at on screen, uh, we've got all the original houses are now in place where they think they're going to be. Um, and there's four IPs. So the four IPs that are on it are still a lantern, which I think we've all figured out what that actually is now. Uh, a Cadillac symbol, but now it's got eye stripping off it. I think we can kind of figure out what that one's going to be. Obviously, now we know what the uh, silent noise was. It is a quiet place. And that's going to be a sound stage. So it'll be interesting to ha see how they do it. And that sound stage is, is it shared? It's shared with triplets of terror. It, yeah. What well, could be a problem? Because so, if you're in a quiet part of the house, you might hear a lot of noise. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Uh, and then over in one of the new sprung tents, which is uh, tent four, I think. Uh, it is the female symbol with the um, Bride of Frankenstein's wig on top. Wig? Uh, well, Natural wig, hair, uh, baby. Well, <laughs> uh, we have some additional things. We've still got three unknown scur zones. We do have uh, a scur zone with, it looks to me like a festival skull. You know, like a yeah, bit like Coco. It, it, feel, it feels Lat, um, Latin America again. Yeah. That does and, and that is actually near the Latin America house. So yeah, Latin America, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, over towards San Francisco. Sorry, that was over in Hollywood. Uh, over in San Francisco. Uh, is that like half a skull with headphones on or something? Where are you I can't looking? Figure it out. I'm, 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 get, I'm going close. I'm down blind. Yeah, it looks like a female skull, maybe female type hair. Also looks like a funny looking chance. Yeah, well, it also looks like a deformed Harley Quinn. Yeah, I was thinking that. So that's why yeah. chance came in my head. So we'll see. Uh, like saying, I think Phil mentioned it. When you get pictures, it's you can interpret it whatever you like. Uh, we've got the obviously we've got the Death Eater symbol in DE for Diagon Alley, and the fire symbol for Nightmare Fuel mm, for the show. And don't forget. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it looks like outside Mel's dying. We have a bow tie, but it's got the IP symbol. It's uh, Megan people, Horde. Yeah, and people say it's going to be Megan. Oh. Well, if it's is it going to be a Horde or are they, like you said, you think it should be better being a show? It should be a show. I remember, do you remember when the show we we're not allowed to name anymore? Yeah, the first year. Yeah, it was there in that area. And yes, it, it, was. it was it was great because there's a big gap there you just walk through. So for me, that well, just if they're works. not going to be using this, if they're not going to be using the lagoon, that makes perfect sense. If they are going to be a lagoon show, that potentially could be. But I did say I don't think there will be a lagoon show because of the turnaround time it's going to take to get it up and running. So this would make sense for it to be there. Uh, so there you go, mate. That's a uh, horror. Horror Night Nightmares spec map version three. Yeah, we're not doing Hollywood because we're no. running out of time. Sorry. There is other great podcast out there who do in, in more depth. Yeah. Um, as I said, if we knew this was coming out, um, you know, it came out at a good time. I believe it was a Saturday, wasn't it, as well? I'm not sure. It was so literally 3 a.m. Yeah. So it would be a Sunday morning for us. Simon works shifts, Joe's um wife works weekend sometimes so he's got to look after his kids and you don't want me to do it on my own so yeah. i don't have enough knowledge like simon to be able to do it on my own really talk about the experience well that's fantastically blurred that's a perfect way to end a bit of a teaser it's not really a teaser go on x and you'll see what he means oh. and for the people who are listening it was round it's round and upside <laughs> down but, yes we have uh, a little gift well, Simon's going to be given out at the event. Yeah. Um, he's going to be oh. walking around the park and he's going to be singing, Come with me and yeah. you'll be oh. in the world of pure bad singing. <laughs> if you know what, if you're wondering, he's, he's been doing that since before we even recorded. He even sent him a puke symbol earlier because it was, it was horrible to listen to. It's from the latest episode of <laughs> Doctor Who. 
Dr. Boo. Uh, so, yeah, guys. So if you did like listening to this or you've enjoyed watching it, uh, hit that subscribe button, like button on YouTube. If you're on our socials or on our podcast apps, uh, can you give it a rating, a review? Probably Even comment. subscribe or follow it. Uh, comment below as well what you think of uh, Quiet Place, uh, the spec map, and anything else. And also follow us on our socials at Pod and at Pod one on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok is where if something breaks and we're not recording, that is where the news is going. Um, yeah. we're get, we put news up there like if there's new tickets, yeah. you, new you, house, you stuff like that. You don't even have to listen to us. You can listen to our two little mascots. Yeah. Have we got names from now? I have, but I've gone. <laughs> I know, well, uh, I, I know, I know, uh, Screamsicle. Um, Screamsicle, and um, I think it's, um, is it Screamsicle? And maybe it's, no, I think it's Spray. Oh, uh, there you go, we've got, anyway, they've introduced themselves on there, because we're not on yeah. there. Yeah, it's, uh, we've got two new uh, mini hosts. Yeah, one's a, a, what's a can called? Spray can. Spray can, there you go. <laughs> well done, Phil. Sprayer, so I think his name is. What yeah, spray, yeah, that's it. Sprayer, yeah. it's, I think it's... Uh, he's spray a spray can screen. what's yeah. melting and you see a skull inside it. And the other one is a ice lolly what's basically based on Frankenstein. Yeah, so go and, go and give uh, our two new little, little mascots a bit of love. Yep, and um, yeah, as I say... Hopefully we'll be back again very, very soon. Uh, the UK haunts are starting to wrap up uh, wrap up the ticket sales now so i'm going to make a list and go through all them on one of our next shows so if you are a uk based haunt and you're listening to this because why wouldn't you be listening to this it's a great show uh let us know and we'll uh plug your event that's the way to get a hold of us as well by the way is on x and on instagram yeah we have access to them both ourselves mm. uh so with that as joseph would say Good night and sweet screams. As our new ice lolly guy would say, now get out of here. <laughs> Some sort of TikTok, so he doesn't know he doesn't know how they end. <laughs> yeah. And from me, uh, I'm just back to it now. Tatty bye bye, you bastard. <laughs> you can never do a nice happy ending. Goodbye, no. my friends, and have great nightmares. Yeah, good way doing it. Don't <laughs> move yourself in your sleep. <laughs>